Lisa and Scott, this new information is another step towards finding out what happened to Angelito Carabello and Hunter Mock. The two were found dead in the woods one week ago today. Seven search warrants unsealed Tuesday shed some light on what could be the final moments of Hunter Mock and Angelito Caraballo, the two young men who were found dead last week in a wooded area off of Ferndale Road in New Philadelphia. The search warrants identify two people who troopers say were at the scene when Mock and Caraballo were killed. The area which witnesses refer to as the Sanchez, an old stripping site, is where one of the people questioned by state police say they, along with Mock, Caraballo, and the other unidentified person, went to hang out and, according to witness statements, shoot a gun. The main witness says they were talking like friends before the accused shooter pulled a gun and began firing in the direction of Mock and Caraballo. That person was arrested on unrelated charges a day after the two bodies were found. According to the report, Mock died of a gunshot wound to the head, while Caraballo was found with puncture wounds and lacerations. Following more witness statements, police searched phone records, a white Dodge Journey, a home in Port Carbon, and requested DNA samples from both people who they say were at the scene of the crime. During these searches, police found an extended magazine for a firearm and a large silver kitchen knife. According to the search warrants, each of those two people implicates the other in the deaths of the victims. So far, neither of those two people have been charged in connection with the deaths. Because no charges have been filed, Newswatch 16 is not reporting their names at this time. One of those people was arrested, as we said, on unrelated charges. He is currently locked up in Schuylkill County. Jack Culkin, Newswatch 16. Scott and Lisa, back to you.